to help and revive their bodies. But the only one who has ever done in history died, laid in the grave for three days, and then wake himself up on the third day and say, I have all power was Jesus. Matthew chapter 28, verse 1 to 20, I won't be long. And then at the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and other Mary to see the sepulchre. That's a message in itself of the resurrection power. Here is Mary Magdalene, who used to be a prostitute, who used to sell her body for money. And the other Mary, not none of the apostles, not the mighty man of God, not these powerful people who walk with Jesus. Two humble women came. One who was a prostitute and one who was Mary, just a friend. Come on, help me somebody. Come on, help me somebody. They came to see and to prepare the body of the Lord. To visit his grave. I want to tell you today, in, in this hour, sometime, it ain't the big time people who you think are so high and mighty. Huh? God is looking to use huh? oh, the ex prostitute, huh? the ex gang banger, the ex drug dealer, the ex drug pusher, the ex sweetheart, liquor drinker, dope user. God is looking to use the old prostitute and the old ballot. Oh, God, and use to make Mighty in God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One thing about the resurrection power. This power can change anybody. I'm telling you when Jesus get a hold on somebody. That's why you don't throw folk out. I don't tell folk don't count me out. Because as long as I got Jesus. As long as you got Jesus. Don't count me out. Touch your neighbor and say don't count me out. Oh yeah. 